Now ADT can help protect your family at home and on the go. Get started with ADT's best offer, an ADT starter kit and security camera installed free. A savings of $449. Plus, you'll get ADT Go, the new family mobile safety app and service for 24-7 emergency response. Go to ADT.com slash podcast today to take advantage of ADT's best offer with 36-month monitoring contract. Easy pay and QSP. Early termination and activation fees apply. Additional charge for ADT Go premium services after 3 331.18. Certain markets excluded. Licenses available at ADT.com. Offer ends April 1st. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. If I were to describe the guy who's on the phone for a second date update today, if I were to describe his first date with a newspaper headline, it would probably read, Spontaneous First Date Spontaneously Combusts. Oh! Leaving one survivor. Oh, and that would be Sean, <laughs> who's on the phone for a second date update right now. What's up, Sean? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Would that be a pretty accurate headline? I'd have to say, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> right. That's not a good fate for the girl you went out with. Your email was a little confusing, so why don't you tell me exactly what happened? Okay, so it was a weird night. I was supposed to hang out with some friends, and they couldn't show up. They texted me, hey, we're not going to make it. So I'm just, like, wandering around downtown, bored, alone. So I jumped on Tinder and said, hey, uh, you know, let's see if I can find someone that's close by. Maybe I could... Okay. Find something else to get into, you know? I like that. Uh-huh. You are taking lemons and making lemonade, sir. Hey, that's what you got to do, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So tell us about the lemonade. Okay, so the lemonade's name is Nina. Mm-hmm. All right. Nina lemonade. I like it. And Nina's right. a- sweet, tart, sh- too sugary. No. What'd you think of the Nina lemonade? I got to say, the Nina lemonade was awesome. Uh, okay. So we ended up meeting at a bar. Okay. She was hanging out already with her friend, and she was like, hey, you know, why don't you just come by, meet up with us? We're already out, you know, we're close by. So it's a pretty safe situation. And so when I met her, she was cute. I mean, she was, like, hot in a, in a weird, quirky way. Like, she, she's not like that girl that you walk in and it's like everything stops. But she was, she was, <laughs> she, she was like, uh, like sexy librarian hot. Okay. okay. So, so she's she... business as usual hot. Like, she's not hot where everything stops. She's hot where everything just goes on about its normal pace, and she's just in there looking okay. Like that. I did not follow that at all, what you guys just said. She's about subtle hot. Or, so or she's parking not... lot hot. I like to call that parking what? lot hot. Like, you walk by her, and you're like, about? you walk by her in the parking lot, you're like, all right, she was okay, and then you just continue on yep, to your car. She was parking lot hot. Why are you in the parking I'm so confused. She was beautiful, is what I hear. She was a step up from parking lot hot. She was okay. she was that middle school teacher that if you see her at the bar, you'd still what? go for it. Okay, listen. Okay, no nice. girl wants right, to be compared to a middle school teacher or something that you look at in a parking lot. No, but she's compared to a hot middle school teacher. Completely different. We're Way on the different. same page here, Sean. Oh, my God. So, I'm so, so lost. How did the whole evening go, though, with her? All right, so first impressions, I went baller on her, and I bought drinks for her and all her girlfriends. Nice. Okay. You know, it was all good. We, we were having great conversation. I was flowing with her and her girls. I was on point with my jokes. And then, you know, I thought I really must have been doing well because her girls branched off and gave me some alone time with her. Oh, that okay. is that is a good sign. Yeah. You know, because if your girls co-sign on it, then your 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 foot's in the door, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you, I've been out with my girlfriends when they've had a Tinder date meet up with them. And he did not turn out very good, so we did not leave her side. Oh. Yeah, because then you're like, you shall not pass. Yeah. Well, yes. you're just trying to help her out, man. <laughs> but she was obviously into it if her girls left. Exactly. So then we're hanging out. You know, we're sort of kicking it and nuzzled up a little bit, I thought. Mm-hmm. And so she said, oh, wait, you know what? I got to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. So I'm waiting and waiting. And she never comes back. What? Oh, the ultimate oh, gist. So she ditched you. Oh. Dude, but this is the weird part. Now it gets even weirder, right? Her girlfriends are still in the next room. Wait, All so right. she's not hanging out with her girlfriend? She's like gone, gone. Well, this is what I'm thinking. I said, okay, well, maybe she's in the next room with her girlfriends and they, you know, they got caught up talking about something right. or whatever running. You know how girls do. So <laughs> I go in there and I'm like, hey, where's Nina? And they were like, uh, we don't know. I said, what? Like, it's only two rooms here. It's, it's where you are and where we were. She's not here, and she's not with you. You don't know where your friend is? They're really playing dumb. They're like, no, we don't know. Last we saw her, she was with you. So I'm thinking, okay, they're running some kind of game on me, but I don't even understand because 
It's not like I was some cheapskate. I bought them all drinks. If they're running game, they should have just kept pimping me for the drinks, right? Right. Yeah, 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 for sure. I don't know. Totally. It's sometimes not worth it, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I we, mean, we're women. We make our own money. We can pay our own drinks. We don't need to hang out with you if you really suck that bad. Okay, that's fine. But would you leave your girlfriend with a guy that you felt sucked really bad? No. Exactly, right? Well. So. I like how Jose answers. She was like, no, I would never leave my sorry. girls. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, you know? I think that question was more for Brooke, Sorry, but would Brooke. you leave your girls with the guy that you thought sucked? It is interesting. Have you, I mean, did you text her? And That's did... the thing, yeah. So I'm texting her, I'm texting her. I called her. She's not picking up, and her girls are still playing dumb. Like, they don't know where she is. They can't get in contact with her either. Okay. You know, and what are you supposed to do at that point? Can I ask you, did the group of girlfriends seem concerned that she was gone? They didn't seem concerned. Mm, Which was then, even weirder. Then like, I think uh, they were lying to you. They, they knew? knew where she was. Yeah, because if you don't know where someone is and they really just take off, then I would be worried. I'd be like, oh, my God, yeah. what did she unless, say to you? Why did she go? Unless they're one of those friends who always takes off, like who always just gets drunk mm, and wandered off. You're like, oh, true. whatever. I don't know what happened. Man. I mean, I just want to I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to figure out what happened. Yeah, that's okay. interesting. And it sucks. You got ditched twice in one night, man. Ouch. Exactly. My Ouch. president, you know, she got me. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then call her and get your second date update, okay? Awesome. All right. Just go hang out over there. We're going to go to the bathroom real quick. We'll right <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do it next. 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. If you just tuned in to today's second date update, Sean is on the phone, and Sean is good at a lot of things. Mm. Well, I don't really know the other things, but I know Sean is good at getting ditched. That's pretty much what Sean is good at. Oh, wow. He got ditched by his friend, so he was looking for somebody to hang out with, and he hopped on Tinder, and then he found a girl named Nina to hang out with. He showed up to the bar where she was at, hung out with her and her friends for a while, and then Nina kind of dipped out, and even the friends didn't know where she went. So he's wondering what happened to Nina because she hasn't called him back since he met her that night. All right, Sean, you ready to go? Yeah, and for the record, your recap really did wonders for my self-esteem. Oh, poor Sean. I was hoping it would help, Sean. We're here for you, though, okay? Yeah, I can tell. Thanks. Yeah, and- at least for like another five minutes or so, and then yeah. we're done. Now, do you just want to find out where she went, or do you actually want to go out with this girl again? I mean, I was very interested. In it, you know, I thought we had a little something going on. So, I, yeah, of course I want to know what happened and where she went, but... I'd be interested in going out again if she could explain this. Okay, okay. but if she can't and she just said you suck and I left, then <laughs> we shouldn't well, that's ask. That's a different story. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you found her, so at least I know she is alive. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now, see if we can get your second date update, okay? All right. Man. Hello? Hi, right, can I speak to Nina, please? This is Nina. Oh, oh, good. You're safe. <laughs> Nina, I've been worried about you. Okay. Who is this? Oh, this is Jubal from Brooke and Jubal in the morning. <laughs> this is Brooke. Hey, Nina. And Jose is the guy that you just heard laugh. Okay. Why am I talking to a bunch of people? <laughs> because we do a segment on our show called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them after, they email us to see if we can get you on the phone and find out what happened. And you recently met up with one of our listeners, but now you're not talking to him. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> yes. I know, I know, I figured it would be. But uh, his name is Sean. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, he, he seems like a really cool guy. What? Wait, hold on, Nina. Okay. Why are you being so nonchalant, nonchalant about this whole thing? Because he said that you ditched him. I ditched him? Yeah. yeah, that's what he says. He said you went to the bathroom and, like, didn't come back, ditched him. Oh. Oh, my God. I guess I did. That, oh, God. I'm so confused. <laughs> How... I can't believe I did that. That was so mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused by you right now, Nina. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, how did you I know? How'd you ditch him on accident? And then why haven't you responded to his phone calls or anything? To be honest, when I went to the bathroom, I um, <laughs> I I accidentally met up with my ex, oh. and um, hey. you know, obviously we're no longer together, but we just have this chemistry and whenever we see each other we just hook up we can't 
seemed to keep our hands off each other. And Wait. I just, you know. When you went to the bathroom, you ran into your ex and, like, went home with him? Yeah, we just, you know. <laughs> but you know how it is when there's, like, passion for someone. I just, I honestly, like, forgot about Sean. And we just, I was just in the moment and we took off, you know. Okay. And I ended up spending the rest of the night with him. I'm really sorry. I feel... I feel terrible. But how are you just now realizing that you ditched Sean in this whole thing? I know. It was just, we just had so much fun that night. I guess I just completely forgot about Sean. I... Okay. Why not call him back or text him back after he tried to get a hold of you? I felt a little weird afterward, you know? I didn't want to tell him. I didn't want to lie to him. I just kind of figured it was a quick situation and he would go away. So I just kind of left it at that. I, I well, think that's pretty understandable. Yeah. What yeah. are you going to say? The only problem is, Nina, he hasn't gone away because he's actually on the other line listening to this conversation <laughs> and wants to talk to you. Are you serious right now? Like, oh. is, this, is this really real life? Oh. Are you serious? You had him waiting on the phone to talk to me this whole time? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, my a God. Lot. I'm sorry, but yeah, he was waiting this whole time to talk to you, and now I guess he knows the truth. What kind of person does this? Like, you, you actually forgot that we were in the middle of a date? Like, how, <laughs> how can you just forget that a human being even exists because you bump into some dude? Oh, my God. Sean, first of all, I was drunk, and we, like, lit I literally had just met you, like, you know, what was it, like, 45 minutes? So, so after you're a you nice up, guy, uh, but... So after you sobered up? You saw my text. You saw the humans calls. No, nothing in you. There was no remorse. No, oh man, that's pretty messed up. Nothing. No. I mean, I feel bad about it, but I kind of figured it was such a quick hookup, and I thought I said goodbye to you before I left. So, you know, I forgot. You know, I was like I said, I, I had a few drinks, so I wasn't thinking clearly. We're on a first date, Nina. I mean, and you just go hook up with your ex-boyfriend. You don't sound like you're all that broken up about it. I mean... I do feel bad about it, but come on. We, we met on Tinder, dude. I mean, you know, it's not like you're going to propose to me or anything. So I, just, I didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, you know, I, I, I guess maybe at some point I would have reached... I just really didn't put a lot of thought into it. At some point? What, were you going to wait till I had a birthday? I mean... <laughs> No, I, I figured I would call you at some point, but, you know, I was just wrapped up with my ex, and I oh wasn't gosh. really putting a lot of focus on it, you know? <laughs> Nina. Oh, my God. I know. I, I feel so bad for you, Sean. Nina, that is really messed up that you just ditched somebody. He had a bad night to begin with. He had already been ditched by his friends. Well, first of all, not everybody has an ex like my ex. Oh. Okay, this guy, well, I won't even get into that. And I mean, I do feel bad for Sean. I just never thought it was that deep, really. You know what? Now I don't even feel as bad. I don't even feel as bad. Because you know what I did? To, you know, so I wouldn't take a total loss for the night. I hooked up with one of her girlfriends. -uh! No way! You did not I tell us that really. before, Sean. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did what? Oh, you now it matters? Now it matters? Uh -huh. yeah, Wait a minute. Who, who, who yeah. was it? Who did you hook up with? I mean, why does it matter? You know, I'm not, I'm just some guy you were going to call on his birthday. Oh. I mean, no, who, what difference does it you know, make? I, I, you know, it doesn't even matter. I bet I know who it was anyway. It's <laughs> She's a slut in the group. <laughs> but now I'm just like, I'm really confused because if you did that, why are you going through all this trouble to contact me? Why don't you just go with her? That's a good point. Why are you contacting me? I mean, I was a little more interested in you, but, you know, I'm over that now, obviously. Well, you're not. I mean, you're, you're, it's sounding all confusing to me because if you're interested in me, why are you hooking up with one of my friends? <laughs> oh, let, let me you, use that's your not drunk, cool. Let me use your drunk excuse. Oh, I was drunk. So, you know, it just kind of happened. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you all didn't. All right. Well, on this I... note, uh, oh Nina, I would like to ask you if you would like to go out with Sean again on a second date. We will pay for it. That's a very generous offer, but I think I will respectfully decline. Oh, my God. I wanted you guys to go out again to see who you'd actually end up going home with that yeah. night. <laughs> well, that maybe you can pay for him to go out with oh. Okay. I mean, good. I mean, I don't want to go with you again anyway. I mean, honestly, your girlfriend was a little hotter than you. And then there was a couple other ones that I might be more interested in that was in that party. Oh, anyway, so, dang. yeah. Okay. So now Sean's got all the girls. This is why I should meet up with guys on Tinder. I am done with that whole situation. I mean, you have, like, completely turned me off. And, like, if I'm going to be meeting jerks like you, then nah.
It's not even worth it. Whoa. That's fine. Yeah, stick the guys that dump you in real life. Oh, <laughs> my God. My God. All right, well, thank you very much, you guys. And at least, hey, Sean, look at it this way. Now that you're kind of an ex of hers, you went on a date. Next time you see her out with another dude, you might be able to hook up with her. It all works out. Broken Jubal in the morning. A text in at 78592 that says, Can you give me Sean's number? I'd love to go out on a date with him and then run into my ex and oh. sleep with my ex, too. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. Talking about today's second date update. If you missed it, this dude Sean wanted to call a girl named Nina. They met while they were out at the bar. Actually, he was like, he got ditched by his friends. Mm -hmm. And then he found her on Tinder and he met up with her. And then she ditched him as well. So he couldn't figure out what happened. We got her on the phone and she actually sort of forgot about Sean when Mm -hmm. they were hanging out (laughs) because she ran into her ex. And her ex apparently is one of those people that no matter what, you can't get enough of. So Uh she left the bar with her ex and just forgot that she was hanging out with Sean and then didn't want to call him back. She's like, whatever, we hung out for like a couple hours. I don't need to get back to him. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she told Sean that she ditched him that night so she could go have fun with her ex. I think everyone understands like that there's that one ex that you hook up with no matter what, but there's still like some sort of niceties that you have to do in ending another date before you make that happen. Yeah, Yeah, at least say goodbye to the guy, you know? Right. Be like, hey, it was really cool meeting up with you, but my ex is awesome in the bedroom. No! You can leave that information out. (laughs) I haven't tested you out yet, so you can understand. I'm going to stick with the old reliable here on this one. I would hate to date you. She just didn't have any remorse, man. No, she didn't care at all. She was she yeah. was intense. Well, apparently so was their love making. Yeah. So yeah. Why? <laughs> Text in 78592. Do you have a relationship like that with your ex? I'm curious how many people out there would actually ditch somebody on a first date to hook up with their ex. And if you want to do a second date update, remember, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person yes. who didn't call you back. Young Jeffrey's Song of the Week coming up in just a few minutes at 810. Now ADT can help protect your family at home and on the go. Get started with ADT's best offer, an ADT starter kit and security camera installed free. A savings of $449. Plus, you'll get ADT Go, the new family mobile safety app and service for 24-7 emergency response. Go to ADT.com slash podcast today to take advantage of ADT's best offer with 36-month monitoring contract. Easy pay and QSP. Early termination and activation fees apply. Additional charge for ADT Go premium services after three 3118. Certain markets excluded. Licenses available at ADT.com. Offer ends April 1st.